Hi, this is Thomas. I got a request to model that sprocket tank wheel, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do. I have two ways to make it, one with the vanilla blender tools and another one with hard ops, which is a paid add-on. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's create a cylinder with 110 sides because we can divide the model in 11 parts. Rotate it on the x-axis. Select the top of the cylinder and invert the selection with Ctrl I and delete. Scale the face to roughly match the size of the wheel and inset twice. I'm going to work on a small part of the wheel so I select only the bottom part because it's well aligned with the reference picture. To grow the selection like me, press Ctrl plus on your numpad, invert and delete. Add a mirror modifier to work on half of the model. Press K to select the knife tool and cut the faces to match the reference picture. Then delete the faces that you don't need. To move the 3D cursor to the selection, press Shift S and drag your mouse to the bottom. Create a cylinder or a circle with 8 sides. Rotate it on the X axis. And adjust the vertices to match the curvature. Now I'm going to make a radial array. This is the first method I was talking about earlier. Reset the 3D cursor position to the center of the world with Shift C, then create an empty. Add an array modifier with 22 iterations, put the relative offset value to zero, turn on object offset and select the empty. And now I have to divide 360 by 22, which is 16.36. Apply the array modifier and delete the empty. Here I'm using hard ops, which is a paid add-on. You just have to press Q to open hard ops, go to mesh tools, radial array, and roll your mouse wheel to adjust the number of copies. Apply the array modifier and you're done. As you can see, it is much, much quicker and you don't have to do some calculations anymore. Now add a Boolean modifier set to difference and pick the cylinders, apply it, and delete them. Now let's take care of the topology. Turn on vertex snapping by clicking on this button and auto merge vertices by clicking on this one. Connect the vertices to turn every polygons to quads. You can make the distance between the edges even by using Setflow, which is a free add-on. You can find it on GitHub, the link is in the description of this video. You can slide the vertices along the edges by pressing G twice. Add some support loops with Ctrl R. Then add some support loops. Add a circle with 8 sides. I'm using it as a guide to snap the vertices to match the curvature of the reference picture. Add a mirror modifier to work on half of the model. Go to face mode, then select everything and press I to inset. Here you can remove the unnecessary edges. Then with the knife tool, let's add some edges in the corners, like so to make sure that the angles will stay sharp when the subdivision surface modifier will be added. Here you can remove the unnecessary edges. Once you're done, apply the mirror modifier and do a radial array to make the wheel like I did before. You can use the first method with the MT or use the second one with hard ops if you have it, it's up to you. I'm doing it with hard ops because it's easier and faster. Go to vertex mode, select everything and merge by distance. Give your wheel some thickness.
and add some support loops. For the center part, repeat the same process. Let's add a cylinder, add a radial array with a value of 6 because there are 6 holes in the picture, add a mirror modifier, I'm doing it with hard ops because it's faster, I will talk about that feature in another video, select the outer border, extrude it, select the 6 circles and delete them, then select the inner edges and scale them towards the center. Bevel the vertices to make a rounded shape and press C to make sure that the bevel stops when the two center vertices are intersecting. Select all the vertices and merge them by distance to remove the doubles. Now add some loops like I did with the knife tool. Make sure to press A before adding your cuts to set the angle at 90 and 45 degrees. Add a mirror modifier and apply it. Select the outer border, extrude it, turn it into a circle with the loop tools. Finally, add some support loops and connect the vertices of the remaining end guns to turn them into quads. Add a mirror modifier and apply it. Extrude the outer border and snap it to the back of the first part. Then extrude again to roughly match the reference picture. Select the inner border and extrude on the y-axis to give it some thickness. Click on select, select sharp edges and add a bevel with a profile of 1 to keep the angles sharp. Add some support loops and we are done with this shape. To make the inner part, select the border and fill it by pressing F, then press P to detach it. Press Shift H to isolate it. Select one of the circles, then move the 3 cursor to the selection by pressing Shift S, then move your mouse to the bottom. Add a circle. And snap it like so. I'm also going to use it as a guide to snap the vertices of my shape. I'm going to work on one sixth of my model, but there isn't a vertex at the center. To make one, connect the vertices to make a rectangle, then connect them to make a cross, and boom, you have your middle vertex. Select one sixth of your model, invert the selection and delete. Inset the circle and delete the face, then connect the vertices. Do a radial array, and merge the vertices by distance. Inset the center and turn the selection into a circle. And hide the piece with Alt H. Then snap the vertices to the other part. Do a radial array and merge by distance again. To add the center detail, just add some extrudes. Give your model some thickness. Select the sharp edges and add a bevel. Mm -hmm. 
mirror your model on the y-axis to close it and add some support loops. Do the same for the other center part. And finally, mirror the sprocket wheel. For the nuts, I already made a tutorial where I show you how to model them. The link is in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Bye.